Hello, everyone. I hope you uh, are uh, having a good day. Uh, I hope that you're um, having fun with whatever game you're playing. I'm sure it's a Battle Royale game because that's what's taking over right now, right? Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, when was it? About a month ago? I can't remember. I wasn't, I'm not keeping up with this game too much, but um, Cliff Blazinski. I, I can't, I have a hard time saying certain words, and so I know I probably just said that name wrong, and I'm so sorry. I just, my mouth does weird things sometimes. He's the creator of Gears of War, okay, which is a great franchise. Gears of War, Gears of War is just tremendous. It's a great game. Um, and he also made Lawbreakers. Um, Lawbreakers was a fail. Um, let's, you know, even Cliff probably will tell you that. Actually, no, he probably wouldn't. He, but um, Lawbreakers was a fail, and they just pretty much canned it. <laughs> they pretty much just they said, see you later. We're out. Holla at you, boy. They, they said, no, we're done with that. And then... With all the Battle Royale craze, they announced Radical Heights. And when I seen it, you know, it didn't, I, like the trailer I watched didn't say like Battle Royale in the title. So I was like, Radical Heights, what is this? Um, and of course, as soon as I started watching, I was like, oh, it's a Battle Royale game. Um, um, it makes sense. You know, listen, Battle Royale is the top dog. Um, and it's an early access. And um, look up information. I don't want to talk, because I got something important to talk about. It's the fact that Cliff wants to bring this game to Xbox. Um, Cliff kind of... Um, was a douche, was a douchebag to Xbox with Lawbreakers. Um, the game was ex exclusive to PlayStation Four uh, and on PC, um, but they never brought it to Xbox. Which I mean, I'm not saying it was just him. You know, PlayStation, Sony probably paid a lot of money um, to get. Well, I don't know, but um, yeah, Lawbreakers was a fail. Um, no one played it. No one liked it. Um, and so what do they do? They hurry up and get a Battle Royale game together and put it in early access. This game is extreme early access, very early access. But the interesting thing was yesterday, and I'm gonna pull up the tweet right now. You can't see it, but I'm gonna pull it up. And uh, he was tweeting Major Nelson, Larry Herb, the GOAT. Um, and uh, Larry just said, hey, nice work on Radical Heights. It speaks to my 80s inner child. And Cliff was like, we want it on Xbox with two little emojis. And, um, so yeah, Cliff wants to bring the game to Xbox. I want the game on Xbox because I downloaded the game on my PC and I don't know if it's because my PC sucks or it's because the game just has so many bugs, but I could not even get into a match. Um, so I do want it on Xbox so I can play it. Um, but will this game take over? That's the interesting thing. You know, <laughs> Fortnite, <laughs> I remember when Fortnite Battle Royale first came out. Um, you know, I played it. And to be honest with you, I didn't really think, you know, I didn't know, I didn't see what people loved about it. Um, but that was very early. That was when Fortnite Battle Royale was very, very early. And then as they started updating things and stuff, I started playing it more and more and started liking it. Uh, but now it's just took over. Um, and so if Cliff wants this game to take over, obviously you need it on console, you know, because console is where you're going to get the vast majority of of gamers to download the game especially if it's free because it's free on pc i'm sure it'll cost money on xbox but um but if you want to have that same fortnite impact you, you're going to have to have this game on console whether it be just xbox or playstation and xbox it doesn't really matter um, but you got to put this game on console because you're going to have pc console uh just like fortnite and then then you have to rely on streamers, and so you, that comes into developers. Then you got to update your game with great stuff and make the game better. Because this game is, from what I've seen from gameplay, it's very bare bones. Um, you can tell it was it was thrown together. You can tell that it, it but it's not. It wasn't in development long, but that's that's understandable. They want to build off the hop that Fortnite's great, and that's you know it's totally understandable. Um, but this is just a quick update to let you know that it is possible, my friends, that. Radical Heights will be on Xbox. PC, PS4, we don't know. But he just said he wants the game on Xbox. And I'm sure that they will get a deal done. Uh, I could see that at E3. I could see that a small little announcement at E3 that Radical Heights is coming. Um, subscribe. Thank you for 100.